The Slow Center for the Arts is currently in the concept stage. It is conceived as the physical facility where artists of many different disciplines can create, share, present, teach, and experience their art and the techniques for creating it. It is a location. It is a facility with equipment and space, and it is a set of activities to foster the creative arts. San Luis Obispo County is unique in that we have a cultural richness that stems from the multitude of artists and those who love art who reside in our county. Part of this richness evolves from the programs provided by our local educational institutions, Cal Poly and Cuesta. Another part of that richness stems from the unique nature of the area that provides a high quality of life and draws those interested in partaking in that quality of life. Another part of that richness stems from the programs and organizations that have been created to foster the creative arts in the county. And so, the SLO Center for the Arts hopes to leverage and stimulate that cultural heritage by bringing artists together and by providing resources to encourage even more artistic creativity. It is anticipated that the center will bring together almost all of the art disciplines. Visual arts, performing arts, creative arts, culinary arts, as well as architecture, landscape, and design. The focal point of the center will be the main building. Its location is in a very open, spacious, and natural setting. This location will provide the artist and the visitor the ability to separate themselves from the day-to-day -day living environment in order to concentrate upon the creative aspects of the art. The Sunny Acres Historical Building will be rehabilitated, refurbished, repurposed, and multi-purposed to so contain two floors with a combined area of approximately 10,000 square feet. The building will house large open spaces for gallery showings, performances and presentations, and for all-purpose, multi-purpose work and display areas. It will include office space and shared desk space and computer access for both art organizations and artists. It will contain multi-purpose rooms for meetings, practices, rehearsals, and classes. There will be a workshop with equipment for creating wood, glass, metal, ceramic, and other material-based art. There will be individual enclosed studios with wet areas for those desiring to create visual arts. And of course, there will be areas for casual meeting, sharing, and collaborative sessions. And the main building will contain a kitchen and dining room to provide nourishment for artists and guests and to facilitate fundraising efforts and performances as well as to serve as a workplace for culinary creation. In all, the main building will provide a home for all the various genre of art for the community. There will be a general set of facilities for use by all. These will include recording, editing, and presentation equipment for both sound and video. For the performing artists, there will be pianos, keyboards, and amplification, and mirrored rooms for dance and acting. For the visual artists, the workshop will provide basic equipment for working with most common materials. There will be framing equipment, easels, pottery wheels, and other tools. We expect to provide high bandwidth internet access and computers for digital creation and photo video manipulation. Standard Office Suite software will be available Plus, we plan to provide online tutorial subscriptions. For the main areas, there will be chairs, which can be set up for performances and presentations, tables for banquet seating, a movable stage and risers, portable lighting truss and lights, and a portable sound panel and speakers. While not all of the center's intended programs have been identified, we do know that creative workshops and educational workshops will be an important part of the center's set of programs. Since the center is located in a beautiful, 
natural, scenic location, we plan to take advantage of this wonderful space. Given the hillside location of the center, it is perfect for a small amphitheater, which will leverage our wonderful weather and great location. To provide a slightly larger setting for talks, lectures, classes, rehearsals, and performances, the amphitheater will have a capacity of two to 300 attendees. In addition to the amphitheater, there will be an organic garden and orchard, various walking paths, a trailhead linking the high school trail off Lizzie Street and the Sydney Street Trail, landscaped areas with native plants, sculptured landscape areas, open natural areas, and outdoor studio areas. All this will provide subject material and a backdrop for the artist's creations as well as a wonderful experience for the guests.